Got a watch unboxing today from Bulova. This is the Precisionist. It's the 96B158. Let's get started. Full disclosure, I did pick this up online at Amazon.com. Got a really good deal. Currently, it's at 51% off at $169.99. MSRP, $350. As always, price subject to change. Link is in the description. To the unboxing, we have a nice sleeved linen textured cardboard case. Very nice spring-loaded mechanism there. Nice touch with a ribbon. Popping it open to that felt-lined packaging. And a nice pillow from Bulova that is unbranded. Let's get this protective film off. Revealing a gorgeous crystal, but this is mineral, not sapphire. Would have loved to have seen sapphire, but at the price point we're looking at, not going to complain too much there. Pulling out our pillow, let's finish the unboxing. We have an instruction booklet. Pretty simple stuff. And this watch does feature a three-year global warranty from Bulova. Unboxing complete. At last, it's all about the watch. Got a little hang tag here that's attached to our alligator textured leather strap. Also want to point out the nice signed polished buckle. Nice touches there. And of course, we have a retail hang tag if you need it with a little barcode. All right, that out of the way. Let's take another look at this watch face. Pull out this little plastic crown guard so we can dial in our time. And pretty straightforward function. We have basically a two-step out crown. We have a little spiraled knurling on that crown, and it's very smooth. Nice responsive sweep as we dial in the date, and let's get this watch set. Now let's take a closer look at the watch itself, and I'll tell you what drew me to this watch first and foremost, and that's the Precisionist Movement, which is a high-performance battery-powered quartz movement, the P102, that is a high-frequency 262 kilohertz of vibration. That's 262,000 units of vibration per second that goes into the technology of this watch, and that equates to 16 clicks of the seconds hand per second, giving you that beautiful smooth sweep, much like the Bulova Lunar Pilot, the technology that went into the Accutron system that became the Lunar Pilot and other famous chronograph watches from the 60s and 70s. Again, battery powered, but very accurate. This one will give you a accuracy of plus or minus 10 seconds per year, as opposed to an automatic watch, which would give you about plus or minus 10 seconds per day. So that's pretty amazing. Let's zoom in and take a look at this action-packed watch dial. There's so much going on here. Again, we notice that sweeping second hand. It does have an infinity type shape as a counterbalance. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but interesting to say the least. We do have some loom applied to the minute and hour hands as well as above the grooved indices that have been applied, we have a chapter outer ring that has some loom detail as well. At the top, we do have a printed Bulova logo. Would have liked to have seen the uh, tuning fork emblem on there as well. But And we do have at the bottom, 6 o'clock, we have the Precisionist 262 kilohertz call out as well. So this watch face and dial are on the busier side, but they kind of pull it off. It, it kind of works for me. It looks amazing. It looks high quality. It looks classy. I'm liking it so far. Let's get a closer look at this watch band before we dismount this watch. And again, it's a leather alligator pattern. I do like the high polish buckle with the tuning fork sign. Adds a nice touch there. It's an embossed etched in logo as is the crown you have that tuning fork on the signed crown there and that looks really good there's a lot of busyness in this watch if you look at the steps to the lugs and the side of the case high polish steps up to the top top side which has some brushing at the lugs as well as the crown guard other elements of the steel are high polish which gives it that dressier classier look Let's pop this off our pillow and get a closer look at the watch band and then the underside of the case. And we'll get this wrapped up. Very firm, stiff watch band. Brand new 
genuine leather. It's 22 millimeter lug width. And not a lot going on in the case back. We do have some etched out markings, but a pretty plain case back. Let's get this protective sticker off. And again, we have a high polish finish on that stainless steel snap-on case back. We have the Bulova tuning fork and logo at the top. At the bottom, we have the infinity sign with the precisionist call out, as well as just some basic elements there calling out the high performance quartz, as well as your water resistance. Not a lot going on there, but still a good looking, nice proportioned watch. There's definitely a lot of details going on here, but I do really like what I'm seeing, and I love the leather watch band. I love how the Alligator pattern is not too shiny. It's got sort of a satin finish to it, and it sort of contrasts nicely with that high polished stainless steel. It works. Let's go ahead and confirm our dimensions. We have a case diameter of 42 millimeters. We have a crown to case diameter of 45 and a half millimeters. Lug to lug, we're at 48 and a half. And our case thickness is 9.3 millimeters. Lug width is 22 millimeters so should fit a lot of different watch bands and strap options so very easy dimensions but not small by any means especially for a dress watch let's take off our retail tag here and get a weigh-in we are at 2.12 ounces grams for my friends overseas we are right at 60 grams so not a heavy watch nice lightweight should be comfortable to wear all day I mentioned we did have some loom elements to this watch. Let's hit the lights and take a quick look. And as you can see, for a dressier watch, it's nice to have some loom present, but not amazing, but acceptable. And finally, let's go ahead and get this thing on wrist and wrap this up. The leather is a little firm, I'm not going to lie, and it's going to take some breaking in, but... My six and three quarter inch wrists are pretty much going the distance on that sizing holes here, but we'll see once this thing breaks in a little bit. But 22 millimeter band should have a lot of strap and band options for this watch. Could almost definitely put a James Bond NATO on this thing. But it looks great. It is not small. This is a larger dress watch. I definitely love the details for money here. I think this is bang for the buck, one of the best watches I've ever seen. And if it holds up the way I think it will, uh, I think this one's going to last a while. Only criticisms I have are would be the mineral crystal versus sapphire. I would love to see sapphire crystal. The watch does not have a screw down crown, but still boasts a water resistance of 100 meter water resistance, which is cool. Of course, I'd love to see drilled lugs, but other than those couple of elements, there's not a lot I dislike about this watch, and I'm very happy with the purchase and highly recommend it. Please let me know your thoughts. Thanks so much for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.